Oh man. Childhood dream car right here. Honda NSX boys. And super clean S15. What's going on everybody and welcome to the episode. If you're a returning subscriber, you guys already know the deal. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and go follow me on Instagram at Captain26. And for today's episode, I was originally planning on doing a junkyard video at Miyagi's, which is the big one out here. Unfortunately, it is Golden Week, which is like the largest Japanese holiday, so everything is shut down right now. And I completely forgot about that. I got all the way down there, the gate was closed, and then I was like, ah, Golden Week. So I've been driving around for 20 minutes trying to find something to feature, and I am in Japan. There's always cool JDM cars, park, junk, something. I can always find something. But I was driving around for like 20 minutes and I just couldn't find anything so I was like you know what I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna head back home and on my way back home I spotted something pretty sweet and I think you guys are gonna like this so stay tuned real quick we're gonna check out these two Subarus right here I know there's a lot of Subi fans out there check out this Subaru legacy wagon it's got some STI badging on it I'm not completely sure it does have the blitz and body kit I recognize that rear bumper and it does have a hood scoop so we know this does have a EJ 20 in it I like these. I really like this Forester right here. Here's a Fozzie STB STI. Pretty clean. I like the pink accents all around the car. But let's go check out what I originally wanted to find. Check it out, guys. A R34 Skyline Coupe. It does say turbo on there. It's not a GTR, but it is for sale. And I'm really digging the paint job on it. This kind of reminds me of the uh, DR31. Very sweet. It's got big old fender flares on here. It's not in the greatest condition, but they are asking 990,000 yen, which comes out to about, about 9,000 US dollars. We're just gonna do a walk around, check this thing out. I love the two-tone paint job on this with the black and red. You know the Evo black and red, my CBR is black and red. Definitely a big fan of the color combo. But check that out. I think it looks really good with these deep dish wheels. It's got this big old duck tail, aftermarket exhaust. So I'm trying to figure out the library on here. I see Fujisubu, I'm assuming that's for the exhaust. It says RS on the back. I don't know what RS means. I, I don't know if that's just a badge that was thrown on here. TN's obviously for the coilovers, but RS, I don't think they made a Skyline R34 RS. I think it was just thrown on there. And we got something in kanji right here. But I'm also digging the one smoked out headlight over here. Yeah, RS Turbo. Very cool. Let me know what you guys think. Let's check out the inside. Oh, it's got uh, some aftermarket seats, but it is automatic. This car definitely looks like it'd be fun to drive, but it is automatic, so. Might be a deal breaker. But like I said, I was just driving and the main road to head back home was over here. And I was just coming down this road and here's R34 with this pretty sweet paint job just sitting here with a for sale sign on it. So you know me, naturally I gotta pull over and check it out. But you don't see a whole lot of R34s for sale out here, especially coupes and two doors. I know main lane you'll see a bunch, but the prices on them are getting kind of crazy right now. I don't know how hard it'd be to swap a manual transmission in this car and maybe put a RB26 into it if you wanted to make like a GTR clone or turn this into a drift missile. But nonetheless, it's still R34 Skyline and I'm a huge fan of these cars. Growing up as a little kid, I never thought I would see one until, you know, years and years down the road. So it's always cool when I'm sitting here in front of one. I see a lot of R34 sedans driving around, you know, the non-turbo models. It is not the same effect. When I see R34 Coupe, it definitely kind of gives me that like little giddy feeling. And I do like the wheel arches on this and not a bad price. So if you're in Okinawa or you're coming to Okinawa and you want to get yourself a R34 Skyline and you don't mind it being automatic, this is over here. We are kind of close down the street from Gordy's. Gordy's is right over there. Sanabi Seawall down here. And there's a number on here. I'm not gonna post the number, but if you guys wanna, if you want some information, hit me up. Check this out. It's actually, getting in the car and uh, we're gonna actually check this out. I think, I don't know if this is the owner. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, 
sounds good. How many miles? 151,000 kilometers. Very clean on the inside. Let me check out the... Uh... Nice. RB25. You see the T and coil levers. It's actually very clean. Very nice. She's purring, she fired right up. All right guys, like I said, in Japan, you can almost find anything. Let me know what you guys think about that R34. Personally, I like it, I dig it. I mean, it sounds mean. It's got the Neo straight six engine in there. Uh, it is boosted, however, it is automatic. So if you're not too worried about that, or you know, if you, you have the means to swap it, by all means, I mean, a R34 for under 10 grand, not a bad price. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, if that's a car you'd consider. Um, obviously, I couldn't bring that back. I didn't get the year on it, but I'm assuming they started making the R34s in what, 99, 98, 99? And they ran for a few years. I know you guys are probably gonna destroy me in the comments, but I know I'm somewhere close around that area, so obviously it won't be eligible to be imported back to America for a little while. So for me, that car would not be an option. It looks like it'd be fun to drive, something cool to take to the car shows or maybe maybe get it on the track with, but I gotta look for something that's a 95 or older. So that's gonna be my mission for the next year or so. And actually, let me show you guys what the temporary vehicle is gonna be while I'm here, uh, the remainder of my time in Japan. So it is a 2001 Nissan El Grand, and don't hate, don't hate the van game, all right? Uh, like I said, the reason I want to get rid of the Evo is to start teaching scuba diving. It's spring right now. As you guys can see, it's a beautiful day here in Okinawa. The, the weather, it's finally warming up. Uh, so scuba season is like right around the corner, and I want to definitely start teaching again. I was, uh, I was a certified instructor when I was stationed in Guam, so I was teaching scuba out there for a while. Came here, been here for a while. I've been diving a whole lot, but I definitely want to start teaching again. So that's the plan. And I need a vehicle that I can actually like transport gear and tanks and all that good stuff. So I needed a van and ended up with this Nissan El Grand. Three rows of seating, back row flips up, and there's like five or six feet right here. Plenty of room for gear. And it does have a 3.5 liter. It has a VQ35 in it. So it does have some power. It is a Nissan. I'm actually thinking about maybe hitting the rims, painting them black. Some of the chrome on here, I was thinking about plastic dip in black and kind of pimping it out a little bit so we'll see um, but for right now this is the replacement vehicle uh, as you guys know I did sell the Evo and it will be headed to mainland here very soon however like I said before you guys will probably still see it on YouTube so I'm excited that I can still see the car and I know you guys are too so the Evo is not going away forever we'll still be able to see the Evo and hopefully by the time I leave here I can find something else actually not hopefully I will find something else I just don't know exactly what it's gonna be but in the meantime, this is it. So, all right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, as always. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more JDM car content. I'm gonna try to get another JDM car video up this weekend. Try to do a double header, you know, a two feature for you guys since I didn't get a video up last weekend. And I'm trying to get weekly videos for you guys. So stay tuned, can't make any promises, but hopefully I can find something. And as soon as Golden Week is over, I promise, 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 I'll get back to the junkyard and go scope out some cool JDM legends rotting away in the junkyards. Cause I know you guys love that stuff. Until then, I'll catch you on the next video. Later. Real quick little bonus feature for you guys. So. The ocean and the beach is like literally right down there. Hey, Alteza. But there's the ocean, and we're at Miyagi's Junkyard on the back side. And like I said, they're closed. It was a little bonus footage for you guys and a little sneak peek for the next video next week. So that red car right there to me, that definitely looks like a 180SX. I see some flip up headlights, maybe an old, uh, maybe an old Datsun. And then the white car behind it definitely looks like an MR2. So we're gonna have to come back and check those cars out. So, like I said, Miyagi's never fails. You guys can see the big crane right there, the crane of death. Rest in peace. We'll, uh, we'll try to come catch these cars next week. So stay tuned for that. Later.